Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Greg Marshall, and uh, today I want to go ahead and share with you um, the back end of one of my clients' Shopify stores and how we accomplished the uh, $1 million in sales uh, year to date. So this is the uh, Shopify dashboard, and I wanted to go ahead and share a few strategies with you in order to, to just kind of show you how we did this. So number one, you can see we had to drive a lot of traffic to the website. So 633,000 uh, online store sessions went to the website and then as you can see the online store conversion rates about 3.29 so that's pretty good and um, especially on e-commerce you're not going to see conversion rates at like 20 or 30 percent when it comes to a sale and when we're talking about conversion rates we're talking about generating money um, from the website not necessarily you can get higher conversion rates doing other things which is what a lot of people talk about generating leads or uh, generating downloads and things like that but in this particular case, 3% uh, conversion rate, that's pretty much what, you know, what you're going to get when it comes to selling on e-commerce. So let me go ahead and share how we did this. So we used Facebook and Instagram ads, and this is what we did. So we started off uh, really slow with a low daily budget. And what we did was we started campaigns that were targeted to our key audiences. We used a Facebook pixel so that it could track uh, the purchases, add to carts, store visits, time on site, things like that, so that we can go ahead and get better and better conversions as we ran more traffic and ads. Okay, and then what we did was as we spent the money on our ads, we slowly ramped up our advertising spend, um, choosing ads that were winning and turning off ads that were not. And so when you're using Facebook and Instagram ads, it is possible to track how much money you're spending and how much is coming back based off of what the pixel can read. It won't be 100% accurate, but it's pretty close. And what you want to do is you're trying to get your ads to hit at least 50 to 70 purchases a week. Facebook says sometimes you have a bit less, a little bit more, but you want to get your ads to a state where it exits the learning phase and it understands who out of the target audience you're putting your ads in front of will most likely buy, right? And this takes a lot of testing. Uh, this takes, you know, risk because you do ha have to spend money in order to figure this out. But if you're diligent enough to keep testing and keep looking at things to figure out which audiences with which messages make you money, this is a very powerful tool. Facebook ads and Instagram ads can really help you take your business to the next level if you're willing to basically do the work and just test and be willing to uh, understand that you will lose some money in the beginning stages when you're testing your ads because what you're doing, like one of the marketing uh, guys that I like to follow says, you're drilling for oil. So although you may lose money up front, when you find the winners and you start making money, that money that you initially lost um, will, will be regained and then some with profits once you find the winners. And so that's just part of the game. So if you want to use ads, you have to realize you are not going to make money day one right out the gate. You have to have a long-term um, thought process and really think about, I'm just searching for the best ads, the best messaging, the best market, because I know this investment can turn into uh you know, can turn into a million dollars if you do it correctly. So that's the first thing we did. The next thing we did was we tested different platforms, okay, so Facebook versus Instagram, to notice which ones gave us even higher results. Then we optimized for those placements. So we noticed that in the news feed and stories converted really well, but Audience Network and the other platforms and placements didn't convert as well. And so we made those necessary adjustments. Then we also realized the specific interests that this particular company's target audience had, and we doubled down on it. So we really looked at whatever they're interested in, we're going to do more of it and show them more of our stuff because they're the highest converters. And so then we, once you start testing audiences, then you can start to figure out, like, how do I stay focused on this audience and keep showing them different things so we can keep getting more sales? Big mistake a lot of people make is they try to expand outside of the network or audience that already works for them. And that's usually you're putting your business at a higher risk and your cost for acquisitions are gonna go way higher than they would if you just focused on your core audience, okay? Then the next thing is we started testing what types of buttons to use to see 
If that helped increase conversion rate, we did learn that if we use a specific call to action, um, that it did help lift the conversion rates and get us more sales. And then we also focused on what type of creatives uh, converted the most. So that could be carousel ads or a single image or video or a mixture of image and video. And then we had to figure out which types of wording based on those types of creatives work the best. And so you can see this is a very systematic and pretty much like a scientific way to do it is you just keep testing over and over and over and over again until you figure out what works and then you go ahead and you scale that up. What you don't want to do is either be overly excited in the beginning and spend too much money uh, without actually knowing and testing and proving your audience or the other one, which is you're too afraid to spend any money and you don't give yourself enough time and budget to discover these winning audiences. So those are the tips on how you know we we basically got to the one million dollar mark for the year um obviously the year's not over as as i'm recording this this is uh we're heading into september so we still got a couple more months we have the fourth quarter so we should see a pretty drastic increase once we do that but if you ever have any questions on how to grow your shopify store e-commerce store um with using Facebook ads or Instagram ads or any advertising for that sort, um, feel free to reach out. Send me an email, greg at gregmarshall.co or visit my website, uh, www.gregmarshall.co and uh, fill out the form. I can give you a free marketing consultation or leave a comment below and like, follow, share, subscribe and do all that. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this video and we'll talk to you soon.